Hello, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I gonna talk about this finding, what I have found in AliExpress, which is a high precision watt meter and power analyzer, accordingly to the label, what it says. And this can go up to 200 amps in DC. And in today's video, we are gonna test it. So stay with me because I haven't ordered only just one, I have ordered two of them just to see how it behaves. And if you can remember on my previous videos, I will test this custom built BMS battery management system, how much amperage it's and wattage it's actually taking to charge these three cells of lithium ion battery. So what you will need is the power source, which I'm using a power source, which is capable to produce up to 150 watt, uh, watts of, of power. So this will be my power source. The custom build battery what I did in the previous video with that BMS. To be sure, like I'm using some isolated screwdrivers because working with current, it's not a joke. So you can really hurt yourself and it is dangerous. And between the, the power source, and the solar charge controller, we will add this high precision watt meter and power analyzer to see how many amps it's flowing through from the power source to the solar charge controller and that will charge the battery. And we will be able to see the values as voltage amps and watt, I assume. So first of all, you have the source side. The source is here on the source, on the power source. So I will need to remove a bit from the isolation and theoretically after then I can connect it more easily. So let's do a quick recap. This is my power source. This is a solar charge controller and with the solar charge controller I will charge this battery, which is a BMS, uh, through a BMS actually. And uh, we are gonna test this high precision wattmeter and power analyzer. And when I plug this in to the power socket, it is not exploding, which is a good sign. So what are we seeing over here is the voltage which is flowing through to the solar charge controller and the amps which is taken from here and the watt, what is actually producing. And what we see that the charge controller started to charge this battery. And actually this tester is pretty cool because once you connect the source to the source side, the load to the load side, because it is flowing through from that direction to this direction, and then you would be able to measure some watts on real time and amps and uh, yeah, everything and what per hours. So let it stay here for a couple of more seconds. In conclusion, if you have DC application, this high precision watt meter, it shows you real time how much watt is flowing through from the source to the load side, which is in my case a solar charge controller with a battery. And uh, it shows you in real time the amps, the voltage, the watt. And there is in this uh, left bottom corner, there is a few values, which is current voltage energy charge in hours and uh, power as watt peak and uh, watts and watt peak. So that is represented in every two seconds over there. So the voltage range of that uh, watt meter, it is between five and 60 volts, depends what kind of type of uh, you have ordered. And this type, it goes, it, it is capable to measure up to 200 amps, which I really doubt. I would really be surprised to see what would that do with 60 volts and 200 amps. Probably it would melt. So if you would like to see similar videos in the future, don't forget to hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave your comments below. Thank you very much for your attention. And I will leave an 
affiliate link in the description below if you want to order the same type of high precision watt meter and power analyzer. Thank you very much. I wish you a great day. Have you ever wondered why should you use the load on this solar charge controller and install it properly? So like install the solar panel here, install the battery there and the load over there. Uh, it's it's pretty simple because the load is cut off when the cutoff voltage it, it's present. And by the way, did you know that this is a bidirectional, uh, having a bidirectional flow? Because at the moment it is charging and if I cut the power, it was a big surprise for me that this is this LED is still on. There is no current flowing through back, but the voltage is still present, so there it is still in the same voltage range. So just be mindful with those kind of solar charge controllers, how you set up, what the kind of solar panel are using it with it, and how is your battery head, because otherwise it will kill your battery, your solar panel, and also the probably the solar charge controller as well. Leave your comments below. Let you hear your voice. What is you? What what are you thinking about? And see you in the next video.